I love not spending my own money on bags. Hello guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? Cause I missed you. <laughs> no, but really we are so back. We're so back. Firstly, I want to apologize because it took me so long to make this video. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new setup, same couch, just a new setup, but it's because I moved. And that, I always forget how much moving takes like so much of your time and your energy and just like, I was really trying to film this video and another video before I moved, but then I went into why are you bothering filming videos? You need to pack because the movers are coming in two days. Don't waste time making a video. You need to pack all this shit up. So that's why I never filmed this video beforehand and why there hasn't been a video on my channel for going on a month now. Um, so I do apologize for that. I promise that will not be the standard moving forward. I just needed some time to move. Then when I moved, I had to unpack and there was a bunch of boxes where my camera is currently set up. I'll insert a picture. Um, yeah, so I had to move those boxes, um, which mean I ha meant I had to unpack everything because there was nowhere else to move them to. So now I've unpacked all that stuff. All the boxes are gone. My camera is where I need it to be so I can start filming videos again. And we are so back. We are so back. Let me get closer. My last video was a vintage designer luxury shopping vlog. Um, and I said at the end of that, let me see if uh, people wanna see like my bag collection because I came to realize I've accumulated quite a big bag collection after going shopping this summer. It was slowly picking up over time, but after this summer I realized your girl got some heat on her. So I don't wanna make this too long winded. I just wanna show off the bags and get you guys in on what I've been, you know, kind of collecting. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen some of these bags already, but not even all of these bags have made it to the gram yet. I'm still trying to piece together outfits for them, but I knew one day I would find some good outfits for them that would hit. So listen, styling and fashion, it's all a, it's all a song and dance. It's all, that's what makes it fun. It's like, okay, I have this new bag. Now how will I style it? Which may ultimately result in you buying more clothes, which isn't really the best Thing or idea, but it is what it is. Without further ado, let's get into the bag, shall we? First bag that I'm going to show, which actually is my most recent bag. If you've been on my Instagram lately, literally within the past week, you'll have seen it in my most recent Instagram post, but it's also been in one other one before that. It is my Gucci Boston bag. Um, you know, she's got the, the typical Gucci uh, pattern design on it in a cute little tan and navy blue and she's got the gucci charm on her i got her from all my bags are usually hers by the way they're just gendered as girls i don't know why but i call them hers i got her from second street which if you watched my austin vlog you will see that's where i did most of my vintage designer shopping uh was at second street we also have second streets here in la i got this one in sherman oaks I actually saw her the day before I ended up buying her. I saw her, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to buy her. And I was like, you know what, it's been a hard week. Let's get the bag. So I got the bag. I want it, I got it. Um, and she's freaking amazing. I couldn't tell you what year she's from because honestly, I tried Googling her um, and I think I found her, but I can't remember the year. I got her for, I want to say $250, which is, is a nice size bag. It's in really great condition still. Like, there's not really any tears on it. There's not really any rips on it. No tufts. There's a little bit of snagging, but nothing crazy. Even at the bottom, there's not really any, like, wear and tear. She's honestly in really, really good condition. Um, so I was willing to pay a cool two fifty dollars for her. She's not even stained, really. I was willing to pay what I paid for her. So she was worth it. And I don't really have that many tan and blue bags. So I was like, this will be a fun piece to pair with like denim stuff. Um, and I have paired her with a lot of denim outfits. So it was a win in my opinion. And it's not girl math because I actually could afford it. Let's not do that. This wasn't girl math. So the next Gucci bag I got, which I showed in my Austin shopping vlog, 
was this black Gucci bag. It's like a moon shape, I would say, but it's like a hobo at the same time. And again, it has the Gucci emblem, the typical pattern, but I like this one because it is all black, so it's not as like in your face. I honestly am not one of those girls that likes having a bunch of like obvious designer things in your face, like even with Gucci stuff, Louis stuff, the only thing I like is like the brown Louis pattern on the bags and stuff like that. Like I don't like going all out and doing all that crazy stuff. Like I don't even, the other brands that are really like over the top and egregious with making sure you know what they're wearing. I'm not that kind of girl. So I like the subtlety of the GGs on this bag. It also has really cute silver hardware. It says Gucci on the, the clasp right there and you can unclasp it too. I just realized that. Um, not sure if that's a good idea with my nails, but you could unclasp it if you wanted to. It's got big rings and it has silver hardware, which I really like versus my other Gucci bag that had the gold hardware. I like having bags with different hardware because sometimes your fit has like silver hardware on it. Like this little jacket I'm wearing, it has silver hardware. So it's just nice when a bag can match those subtle details too. So that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I have one more Gucci bag, which was actually a gift. And let me tell you something, I love not spending my own money on bags. Um, so I got this bag actually from my aunt, shout out to her. Uh, she started following me on Instagram and I think she saw like all my, my obsession with bags and she was like, hmm, I think I have a bag Clark would like. And she like told my mom and my mom told me. So then I texted her and she's like, yeah, I do have a bag that you would like. It is a little dirty. She has seen better days, but honestly, that's how I know she's an it girl bag. If a bag looks like this, you know it had a fun life in its first lifetime, and I'm about to give it a new one. So I don't even know what to call this. I, I've never seen a bag that looks like this. I would say this is very, very 2000s though. Like I could wear this now because the 2000s and Y2K are coming back, and I actually like that I don't have any other bag that looks like this. Again, it has the Gucci emblem this time it's brown on tan on brown tan on brown which is cool obviously she is a little dirty she's got some rips in her but again i kind of like that because sometimes wearing a designer bag can be really uppity it can elevate your whole outfit and then you just kind of feel like a dickhead sometimes i'm not gonna lie because it's like damn now i got this really nice bag on me and you just feel like a bougie, like, ooh, don't talk to me. Like, just leave me alone unless you've got a thousand dollars to give me. And it's just like, that's not even the point of luxury fashion. I really enjoy watching Cassie. I think her last name's Thorpe. I'll put a little thing for her channel. I really like watching Cassie because I feel like she really grounds luxury fashion and has made it less intimidating for me to kind of explore my passions when it comes to luxury and designer fashion. Um, hence why I feel so comfortable talking about it on my channel right now. So shout out to Cassie. She's also British, which you know, I love my Brits. I have to live in there for a year. I love my Brits so much. Even with uppity, elevated designer bags and designer fashion, it really is all about your personal style and putting your own individualistic spin on it, which is why I really like this bag, because it has personality, it has a story to tell, and because it is a little more worn out, I can wear this with some jeans, or like do a little model off duty look. I could wear it with clothes that look like that, and not feel like my bag is like totally clashing with the outfit that I created with it, you get what I'm saying? Like, But I'm excited to wear it out more, especially because it's fall now, you know, the brown on browns, very nice. The studding detail on it too is really fire. And I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a really a fan of this iconic Gucci red and green pattern they always have that lets you know it's Gucci. I'm not a fan of red. So for me, that's also why I don't buy a lot of Gucci stuff unless it's more subtle like the ones I already showed. But it's just, it's, it's enough that it's like, it's kind of like it's there, but it's not, you know, cause it's a strap, so it's fine but it has the gold hardware, you see? Um, and it actually gives kind of like saddle vibes. You get what I'm saying? It gives like kind of a Western saddle type of feel to it, which is also really cool. Western's really in right now. Shout out to the Westerns. Shout out to my Austinites. Also look at Uni back there. Just like, I don't know, sad about life, I feel you. So like I was saying, <laughs> love it. The next bag is this, Chloe bag. 
It is a Chloe bag. Where is the thing so I can show you that it's a Chloe bag? There is a tag on it, I swear. The zippers say mm -hmm. Chloe. I actually got this bag um, at the Melrose Trading Post at Fairfax High School, but I found this bag. This random man had this bag hanging up, I'm not kidding, on like a fence or something inside of the high school. He, had, he was selling a bunch of random knickknacks and doodads. It was giving like a state sale, but at the Melrose Trading Post. And I remember seeing this bag and before I even knew the designer, I was like, oh, that bag's really cute. That bag's really cute. And he was like, yeah, it is a really cute bag. It's a really nice bag. And he told he's like, it's a Chloe bag. And I don't think he realized I knew what Chloe was or the designer was because he told me he would sell it to me for $75, $75. And then he told me it was a Chloe bag and I was like, that's a Chloe bag. And as soon as I reacted, he was like, oh shit, she knows what this is. And I'm like, yeah, don't underestimate or judge a book by its cover, babes. And this is when I first started kind of building up my luxury designer bag collection. So I didn't, I didn't have all the knowledge I have now, but I knew enough to know no Chloe bag is $75 in this kind of condition. Like, do you see this? She's got a little wear and tear, but she's like a suede. I don't know. It's hard to describe. She's kind of like a suede finish, but it's also like a croc texture to it. Lots of silver hardware, which I love. Um, I think this is the perfect fall bag. I genuinely haven't worn this bag a lot, but shit, I might wear her today because... This would be a nice pop of color with my denim look. And I'm not gonna lie, this kinda got me started on my vintage designer purse obsession. I was like, oh, we out here selling designer bags for less than $100? It's kinda like a fun little hunting game when you find one that's like, it's like a thrill, but it's not an addiction. Do you get a thrill? We're getting into the smaller bags now ish kinda since we're at the melrose trading post with my chloe bag i'll show you guys this bag that i also got there um this summer probably like at the start of the summer before i went ever went to texas i got this coach bag that was at the melrose trading post and this is when i mean coach is still having a moment you know coach which i love because i also have some coach flats that I got years ago at TJ Maxx that people kind of clowned me for because they're like, what are you doing wearing coach? And I was like, one thing about me, I've never been hung up on labels. I grew up shopping at Ross. I grew up shopping at Marshall's. I grew up shopping at TJ Maxx. The things I was taught shopping there is that number one, you can't buy style or taste. You either have it or you don't, no matter where you shop, whether it's the most expensive designer high end shopping place or it's, you know, somewhere that's a bit more like a Ross or a fast fashion, like a Forever 21. If you have taste, you're gonna be able to find something out of nothing. But I say all that to say I had Coach Flats when no one thought Coach was cool because I, I respected the quality of Coach. And now that I've done more research on Coach, I realize that Coach is really admired for the quality of its bags. But there are a lot of vintage and older coach bags that are for sale at a lot of thrift stores and a lot of flea markets right now. It's a movement everywhere. But I got this one at the Melrose Trading Post here in LA. This is one of the smaller bags that I have that's like vintage designer luxury. Um, but she's a cute little, you know, medium over the shoulder. Like, Has a little know, twist. twist. Has that. You can go inside the bag. I'm sure I have receipts in here, I do. There's got, they've got some pockets on the inside and a little zip pouch as well if you wanna keep your cards there, which I usually do. It has a pouch back here too, which is usually where I keep my second phone because it's a 14 plus and it's a big baby. It also has this little coach tag on it, which is stamped with coach. I think it focused so you can see. I can't see from where I'm sitting. I can't see, I'm looking at a tiny screen right now, so hopefully it did focus. But yeah, she's cute, she's got the C's all over it. Another tan on brown number, but she's great. She's amazing, no notes on her. She's one of my favorite bags. You know, I dress her up with denim. I dress her up with brown outfits, more neutral outfits. She goes with a lot of stuff. She's one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, won't, I don't like to say I have favorites when it comes to bags, but She's one of my favorite. Since we're on the topic of coach, let's just continue on the topic of coach, shall we? I got this coach number in Austin. Again, at a flea market. 
it was the weekend flea market. If you watch my Austin vlog, I went to Second Street and then I went also to a flea market with Krista. Shout out Krista, love you. And I found this bag at that flea market. And this is great because it's very much like it gives, it just screams Texan. Like the big ass gold hardware, which is great by the way. I don't have any bags that look like this. But again, the big buckle of a strap, very Texas. And then it's just a cute little black coach bag. This one is, coach bags are usually canvas. This is canvas as well. Um, and then it's got the big, the big gold clasp. I wonder if that's a thing with coach bags. They have like the twist, they have the twist clasp. I wonder if that's a thing with them. The pockets are great. Again, this has little tags. It's got the tag and it's got a cute little gold coin. And I believe the girl only charged me, which again is why I love Texas. I believe she only charged me like $65 for this bag and this was after I bought my first coach bag and like in the middle of the summer So like coach was really kicking off and she literally still only charged me 65. I was like, well, thanks girl Shout out to Texas for real and I think for the smaller one This one I paid I believe 75 for her Which it's LA so but again coach bags coming back in style and also I don't have no damn kids, so I can spend this money on myself. It's justified. <laughs> I, I don't have any kids and I'm single. I don't have nobody to spend money on but myself. So for the time being, until that time runs out, I'm gonna do it. Okay, on to my last bag. <laughs> Not my last bag, on to my last tiny bag. It is iconic nylon yellow Prada bag. Wait, there we go. Prada da, she was, she was filthy when I got her. She looked like she had had every night out under the sun. Hold on, my mom's calling me. One second. Hey, mom. Hello? Hey, I was thinking about stopping at Farmer Boys. Do you want me to bring you the salad? You already know. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Okay. I will make my... So it comes with the... Um... Say All hi right. to my I'll YouTube you. video. I'm filming right now. Hey, YouTuber! <laughs> Tell them to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like, and what's the other one? Share the video. Okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'm for sure keeping that in. But anyways, this Prada bag was filthy when I found her. Bebe, she was less than $100 when I found her. That's how beat up and how little faith they had in this bag in Texas. But I saw this as an opportunity, as a fun little DIY project. I mean, I'm very familiar with the fabric of Prada bags. They're nylon, which means you can clean them. It's basically like washing a nylon jacket or cleaning a nylon, you know, nylon, you can, you can, you can mess around a little bit with nylon, unlike suede or anything like that. Like you can clean nylon if you really wanted to. So one of my projects while I was in Texas after I got this bag was literally cleaning this every night as I watched Love Island. I would take a cup of water mixed with OxyClean and a little toothbrush and just scrub away. And sometimes I would spray the OxyClean directly on the bag to give it even more of an oomph. And then I would just rinse it and I did that for multiple days and this was the result and I think it was well worth it because at the end of the day, I only paid $100 for this. And if you know anything about Prada bags, where can you get a Prada bag for $100 unless it's a fake? So I was like, when am I gonna find a Prada bag for $100 again? You know, if it doesn't get as clean as I want it to, at least I tried. And I grew up in high school being a DIY girly, you know, I used to, I grew up in the era of YouTube where the fashion influencers were teaching us how to do our own stuff because certain items were too expensive for us girlies in high school to afford. So I grew up in the era where fashion influencers were tie dyeing their own pants and dyeing their own jean shorts different colors. I remember I dyed a pair of jean shorts burgundy because I was like, I just wanna try this out and be cool. And they were teaching us how to stud our own clothing. Fun fact, if you need me to stud a denim jacket or a denim skirt, 
I got you. Really, if you need me to stu- need me to stud anything, I got you. You know, I know how to put rhinestones on shoes. Like I'm very much a DIY. I can figure this out and we can make this better than it was before type of person. Again, it's a part of the fashion journey and a part of the fashion excitement for me, which was the same thing that happened with this bag. So um, I'm happy it came out successful. I'm happy, you know, I was able to successfully clean it. I haven't worn it out as much as I would like to. I wore it at DreamCon for day three with a cute little outfit, which I need to rewear. Now that it's cooler out, I'm going to wear that outfit with some tights and probably take some pictures in this. So follow me on Instagram to see those pics. Now that I'm unpacked, I can get back to my fabulous self and my fabulous photo tagging but <laughs> and just dressing up like a Barbie doll every day. So second to last bag. It's actually by another brand that has started getting a little more popular. I wouldn't say as popular as Coach. Not having the same kind of elevated resurgence as Coach. She's a little more, she knows her demographic. Um, it was for the 20-somethings or the teeny boppers, the ones who wanted to be like the it girls with the, you know, jelly sandals and the juicy lip glosses and all of that kind of stuff. It is a juicy couture bag. I have never seen a juicy couture bag that looks like this. When I first saw it, I didn't even know what brand it was um, until I looked on the inside at the tag because all it says right here is the little crown emblem. Besides my Chloe bag, this is one of the earliest vintage designer bags I ever got. I actually got it the same day I was doing a photo shoot and I saw this bag and I was like, this bag is really cute. I really like this bag. I didn't have many brown bags at the time, even though this isn't like the brown on tan, this is brown on black, so it makes it a little trickier to style with, but she's really cool. She's really cool. I really like her. She's got the gold hardware still. No, again, no signs of it being juicy couture at all. Like usually ju juicy, you know, will have the crown on it or like have like juicy written on it. It has none of that. So it is a bit more elevated, which I like. Doesn't give the typical juicy couture demographic that you would see with the, which don't get me wrong, I love the velour track suits. I have some juicy couture pajamas that have rhinestones on them. Like I'm not bashing this brand at all. I'm just saying it, it deviates from the normal designs we see from juicy couture. Um, so that's why I was like kind of also intrigued by it. I was like, oh, you're not like the other girls. You're not like the others. You are different. Let's be friends. It says Juicy Couture here. So this is how I found out it was a Juicy bag. I looked inside and saw that this said Juicy Couture and was like, oh, it's Juicy Couture. Again, I got this bag like years ago at this point. I want to say she was like, uh, she might have been close to 100. I'm not going to lie. She might have actually been close to $100, but... Again, you can't, this level of craftsmanship is something that you would never get, especially from a juicy bag today. You would never get that from, from a juicy bag today or really any bag today. So she has some wear and tear, but nothing so, it's negligible. It's nothing so egregious that I was like, I can't rock this bag. And again, the level of, the level of wear and tear on the bag gives it personality, so I don't mind it. And also, let's get into the, the strength of this zipper. No one makes zippers like this anymore. Can we talk about the strength of this zipper? Very cute, very cute. Last but not least, which I honestly don't expect many people to know of this brand because I didn't even know of this brand when I got it. But again, I was infatuated by the craftsmanship. It's a leather good, it's a really good quality, but they have a store on Rodeo Drive, so they're pretty, they're pretty nice. This is a Todd's bag. It is a medium size hobo bag. I have put this on my Instagram before, I think like one time. Got some tassels, silver hardware, very Western, again, very text, very Western vibes. The style of this is really unique. I don't have any other bags that look like this. Again, I think it is a hobo bag, but I don't have any other hobo bags that look like this. A very unique bag. You see the stitching? Very much Western, very much like, it's just a very Western bag, but a subtle Western bag. I'm not very well versed in this designer brand, but there is a store on Rodeo Drive called Todd's, and I should probably go in there since I have one of their bags. 
because this bag is really nice. Again, this is a bag I don't wear a lot, but I think I'm gonna be figuring out how to wear her more this fall because the style of bag is also coming back in fashion. It's not really necessarily about the tiny bag energy anymore. People are carrying more medium-sized bags. So I think it's about time I whip her out. And also Western is back in too. So I think it's about time I whip her out. Unpause, I didn't mean it like that. Um, but yeah, these are all my bags at least all the, the vintage designer ones, which is what I promised I would show y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me style the bags or give tips on how I look for vintage designer bags and what I feel like is too expensive versus what I feel is a good price that you should be paying for them, I'm happy to yap about that too. I just feel like it's too long for this video. But if you want another video with that yap session, just let me know. It's been fun for now. Like my mom said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you. So uh, have a good day, y'all. Bye. Oh, and let me know what your favorite bag was. I would love to know what your favorite bag was. That would be awesome. I think there's some unique ones in here. There's some trendy ones in here. There's some that really would make the outfit and elevate it, or there's some that would blend in more with the outfit and just complement it more. So I would love to know which ones were your favorite, and I'll see y'all in the next video, which will probably be me vlogging Howard Homecoming. So if you want to see that, and even if you don't want to see that, you should still stay tuned. Stay tuned either way. Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>